Welcome to this Chroma Key After Effects tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to get a decent key out of not so well lit footage. So, go ahead and grab poorly lit and then the background and drag those into the project palette. And all three of those clips are available in the download link below in the description. And then drag poorly lit into a make new comp button, and that makes a new comp with the specifications of our clip. And then drag the background below the poorly lit layer, and so. Our backgrounds there. So first thing that we're going to do is apply the curves color correction preset and then just brighten up the image and you can do this with levels as well and then go and search for color key and apply that apply that and I'm just going to collapse curves and then just choose a color from the background for color key increase the tolerance to say 19 anywhere from 10 to 25 it's usually pretty good depending on your clip and then hit control D duplicate it key out that color control D duplicate it pick another color control D to duplicate pick another color and once more control D duplicate and pick a last color and then I'm gonna go ahead and select those collapse them and then just scrub through your footage and just look because uh, sometimes there will be a lighting change which will cause a patch of color to show up but our lighting is pretty steady here so that's that's good for a basic key it looks bad but we're not done so search for key light drag that out and apply that then go ahead and disable the color keys and re and then color pick a color from the background and then re-enable the color keys and the reason why we applied these five color keys is because key light can be slow to render so depending on how much footage you have or what kind of a computer you have it can be faster to apply a couple of color keys and then apply key light because now key light only has to key out this little bit of green that's left so first thing that we're going to do is for this clip bring the screen balance down and depending on what clip you have you might want to bring it up or down just play around with it and then bring the screen blur up to about three that'll smooth out the edges and then go to screen matte and actually before we do this let's switch to from our view from final result to screen matte so this will show anything that's black is transparent and anything that's white is opaque and then the gray is in between completely transparent and completely opaque so we're just going to increase the screen gain until all of the gray in the background goes away and we do have some gray here but we're going to deal with that in a minute so scrub through your footage really quickly and just make sure that you eliminated the, the gray in the background and then let's go ahead and take care of the gray that's in my shirt and we'll do that by just clipping the white just bringing it down a little bit and that should be about good again with your clip depending on if you're using this footage or not you may need to clip the black and then let's switch to final result and as you can see as far as cutting out away from my body cutting the background out of out of here it's doing a pretty good job and now let's just we're gonna fix a couple of things you can see we're getting some pixel issues down here with my pants so one thing that we're gonna do is change the replace method from soft color to source and for your clip you may want to use hard color it just depends I'm gonna use source and then I'm gonna go ahead and shrink the screen th shrink our mat a little bit say negative two pixels and as you can see that just cleans up our edges and then we're gonna do one last thing we're going to apply a spill suppressor so what this does is it just removes a certain color from your image so just go ahead select a green and as you can see it pulls the green out and now if I turn it off you can kinda of see in my shirt and in my pants it's kind of green tinted turn it on and it's back to the normal colors that they should be this isn't essential in all clips it just depends on how much green spill you have and that is how to get a pretty decent key out of some poorly lit footage